Rakuten could never. They could never. Good morning, Slayers. All right, so we are going to get into stuffing our cash envelopes for uh, the first, well, the last paycheck of June. Um, and I've already set up the cash. Feel like I'm pretty organized right now, so hopefully everything will just move like clockwork. That's the plan, all right? That's the goal. Don't hold me to it, because y'all know something always goes wrong, but whatever. We're going to knock on wood for that. All right, but we're going to get right into it, starting with our everyday category. Um, and I only took out the envelopes that we're going to be stuffing today, because if you watched my previous video, my budgeting video, which I will link in the cards, you will see that we're not able to stuff all of our cash envelopes with this paycheck. So I only took out the envelopes that we will be stuffing. So that being said, starting with gas. And gas has no money left in it because I put it all onto my gas card, which has $25 left on it. So uh, we are now giving it an additional 25. So that is a 20 and a five. That will also be loaded onto our gas card. And that's because again, I go to the gas station at Sands Club, you know, just for the extra points and whatnot, or whatever you call it. Uh, next is grocery, which has some money left in it. Let's see just how much. One dollar is left in grocery, which is amazing. I know it's just a dollar, but it really is amazing because normally grocery is empty, empty. Like, nothing but air and space. So, we'll set that dollar to the side because it's going somewhere else. Um, normally, it would go upstairs into my uh, savings jar that I have. But, I don't know. I'm going to set this one aside because I don't know if it's going to go there into or into another uh, envelope that I just got that I'm so excited about. So, we'll leave that to the side and talk about it later. All right, but now grocery is getting $30, which is a 20 and a 10. All right. Put that in there, like so, like that. Uh, Self-care is getting 15 but there is money left in self-care. So, let's look at it, shall we? So out of order. All right, so 10, 15, $16 is left in self-care. So I'm going to take this dollar and set that to the side. And then this five, I'm not doing a $5 savings challenge, but I don't know. I'll find a use for it in another envelope because I kind of decided what I want to do with this extra cash. So we'll let this 10 roll over. We'll put it back into self-care. All right, and then self-care gets an additional 15, so we'll do a 10 and a five. Y'all, I am so proud of myself. Normally, like my self-care money is the first money to go, but I actually managed to hold on to it. Like that is such an accomplishment. So proud of myself. Good job, Drea. Good job. All right, so that brings us to the end of our everyday category. And we can set that to the side and then get into... All right, so that brings us to the end of our everyday category. And we get into our finder where we take out our prep and landing category to start. So miscellaneous, Tom Tom, Theo, back to school and beauty. Uh, miscellaneous, still has money left. Another shocker, but it shouldn't be a shocker because I decided in my last cash stuffing video that I was no longer going to touch miscellaneous and I was going to save it for other things which is exactly what I'm going to do because our Sam's Club membership expires on July 10th. So miscellaneous will be going towards paying for our new Sam's Club membership. So 
I'm glad there's still money in here. I was able to keep my word and stick to my guns. And it helps not having it in my purse. <laughs> like having it at home, put away, made it so much easier to save. All right. But now we are adding an additional $10 to miscellaneous. Put that in there like so. I'll count it for you guys. 10, 25. So $25 is now in miscellaneous. Only 75 more to go for our subscription or our membership rather for Sam's Club. Okay, so then we get into Tom Tom and Theo and they get their usual 10 each. 10 10. And please excuse if I sound congested and stuffed up. It's mostly because I am. I have like a summer cold and they are the absolute worst. And I cannot breathe out of my nose at all. I've tried everything. Day quill, night quill, Tylenol for cold and flu, like everything. And it just, uh, it is a temporary fix, but it does not solve the problem. Okay, so for Tom, Tom and Theo, they now have $20 in each of their envelopes, but I did do a deposit into their uh, savings account. So their savings accounts have $145 in it. So we just added $40 to that, which now takes them to... $40, $20 each to that. So that takes them each to $165, which I guess I can start updating my tracker as I'm going. Like I had it all set up and completely forgot about it. All right. So. Erase all of that. All right, let's try. So, miscellaneous, we said has twenty five dollars in it. Boys each have a hundred and forty five in the bank, and then we just added twenty to each of those, so they now have one sixty five. Okay, and then for back to school, they already have three hundred and forty dollars and ten cents in the bank, and I believe like another. Seven cents in dividends was added to that savings account, so it was like three hundred forty dollars and seventeen cents. Uh, but I mean, yes, it's money, but we're not really worried about the dividends. We don't bank on those. All right, so for back to school, that is getting its usual forty. So two twenty. All right here and count it out 100 2468 200 2468 320 all right so we now have 320 we back to school envelope which we'll be getting deposited into the bank and to save time and also because i can't find my calculator i did all the math before I started this video. So back to school has a combined total of $660.17. And All right, then moving along to beauty. Fix that anyway. All right, 
Three, dry. Okay. So beauty, beauty is getting fifteen dollars. So a ten and a five. And let's count what we already have in there. So 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 60. $60 is now in beauty. One step closer to getting my hair braided before I go home to Jersey. All right, so beauty has $60. That brings us to the end of prep and landing. Put this back. And we go into long term, and all we need for long term this week is retirement, which is getting $25. Already has a 50, so 50, 75. $75 in cash is now in retirement, but we already have, technically we've done two bank deposits for retirement, so it currently has, yeah, I believe it's $665 is already in the bank. And then, to add our 75 on, and this 705, I was so wrong. When I tried to like calculate when I added the 50 in our last cash stuffing, I was very wrong. I put 705, but it was supposed to be 715, 18. So, Seventy-five plus the six sixty-five brings us to a grand total of seven hundred forty dollars and eighteen cents. We have for retirement. We're almost to a thousand dollars, guys. You're almost there. All right, and then moving right along. New house, new car, emergency fund, car maintenance are not being stuffed. However. Travel is being stuffed with ten dollars. All right, let's put retirement away first. And originally, I was like going to have to. I was taking like fifty dollars out of new house because I had found like this living room set that I loved. It was a love seat and a couch that I found on marketplace. And like the guy wanted uh, $50 for it, like for the whole set, he only wanted $50. And I was so excited about buying it. So we set up a time. He told me like this was from one to three, I could come pick it up and to let him know when I rented the truck so that he could give me the address. Cool, I go, I rent the truck. I text him on Messenger like, hey, rented the truck already, like just need you to give me the address. Nothing, absolutely nothing nothing so then 2 30 rolls around by this time i'm like okay the boys had a haircut appointment at three o'clock and i didn't want them to be late for that like i already had plans for the course of the day that's why i picked the earliest time in his time frame to go pick up these couches was because we had other stuff to do so he calls he finally texts me back at like 2 30 gives me the address and I was like, I'm sorry, but I can't come pick it up now because I have other stuff to do. So sorry for you. Like you just missed out on 50 bucks. I would have loved the couches, but I'm not about to rearrange my schedule all because you couldn't stick to the time frame that you set. So that was the end of that. I was disappointed, but you know, what can you do? Oh, actually, I know what you can do because I did it on Prime Day. I had been, I think I had mentioned it like once or twice.
that I was doing fetch rewards and I will link all my fetch reward stuff down in the description box below if you would like to sign up you get 2,000 free points for signing up you get points I get points if you use my code I mean it's a win-win but listen I took all of my fetch points and I added them I got a you know prime day just passed so on prime day I got a notification from Alexa about this desk that I have been wanting to purchase for forever Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. All right, girl. Nobody asked you. Just because I said your name doesn't mean. I'm not mean... sure how to help you with that. Every time you're not talking to her, she just always has to interject herself in the conversation. But, like I was saying, she can't even say her name. Informed me that a desk that I had put into my wish list on Amazon for like an office space and stuff had gone on sale so it went it went from like originally it was eighty dollars and it went on sale to no it wasn't eighty dollars it was like a hundred dollars and it went on sale to i believe 79.99 and i was like all right cool i got enough points for that had a had over a hundred thousand points it pays to work in a grocery store so i had over a hundred thousand points so i get used all of my points to buy Amazon gift cards and y'all I got my desk and guess how much I paid zero dollars zero money dollars of my own did I spend on this desk it was all paid for in Amazon gift cards that I purchased with my fetch rewards points Rakuten could never they could never so I'm so excited about that. It's actually supposed to be coming in the mail tomorrow. So we just put $10 into travel. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, one. So $131. Um, plus technically at one point we had put $3.98 into travel, like through an electronic transfer. So technically, travel now has $300, $334.98. Like, I wish, I think they do like, um, what is it called? Fetch does like Visa gift cards as well. But if they did Disney gift cards, Listen, we would do all the activities <laughs> on the cruise, all the excursions. But I set a goal. I was determined that I was going to buy my new desk and nothing but fetch rewards points, and I did it. Um, so let that dry. Like, if you do not have a fetch rewards account, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Thirty. $4.98. So technically in the bank it has three dollars ninety-eight cents. Alright. Um business isn't getting anything. Uh birthdays, even though for business I do finally have to use that money and not for the boys. That's I'll figure out a way to how to finance the boys' little startup costs. Um, but I gotta order like my first big giant bulk order from a customer who is actually for a bridal shower and they want 50 soaps plus they would like me to gift wrap it and add an additional tag so i'm like freaking out because i've never had such a big order before but it's going to get done i'm just still trying to like figure out the logistics of how it's all going to get done in my head <laughs> so that money is definitely going to have to get used to you know get the gift bags and all that stuff but uh, yay for progress. I asked God for some things and he's already showing up and showing out. So, all right, birthdays, we are not stuffing even though we're gonna be using that money because Theo's birthday is next week. And like I told y'all, he already has plans of all the things that he wants us to buy and spend. Like, I don't get it. I miss being a kid when you could just make plans with other people's money. And expect it to get done. 
Those were the days. Alright, so Christmas and Black Friday are all we need because they're the only ones getting stuffed. Alright, so Black Friday is getting $5. Which now brings Black Friday to 50, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $85 is now on Black Friday. Christmas is getting $6. So we have 55, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, $85. So Black Friday and Christmas are even once again. Speaking of birthdays, I have to go and order cupcakes for Theo. I mean, he's got big plans. He expects a birthday weekend like he's a full grown man. He wants to go to this uh, Nerf Wars place where they just run around this obstacle course with like these high powered Nerf guns. And then he expects to have a bounce house when he gets home. Like, just a whole full-out weekend with somebody else's money. So I told him to pick one, and I'll think about it. If you're just not going to tell me what I'm going to do with my hard-earned money, absolutely not. <laughs> but, okay, I think everything, oh, we didn't update gas, groceries, and self-care. All right, so household has nothing, so we'll leave that blank. Um, gas, it has 25 left, and we add another 25, so that brings us to 50. Groceries has 30. Self-care. Oh, I should have did this. 10, 25. All right, so self-care has $25. Which in the long run will probably be getting, I'll just use towards beauty and getting my hair braided. So, but for right now, we'll just leave them separate. But yeah, tracker is all updated. So that brings us to the end of this cash stuffing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So these $2, I'm going to put into the savings jar. This will go into my savings jar, which like I told you guys in previous videos, is money that I'm setting aside for student loan payments. So this $5 bill is going to a new savings challenge that I'm doing for the month of July, which is the, hold on, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Like I feel like you gotta talk like that when you break out these envelopes. Um, My hot girl summer, cash stuffing envelopes courtesy of wander print creations um it is a savings challenge for the month of july where if you get paid bi-weekly the goal is to save 150 dollars from each paycheck so for a grand total savings of 300 dollars for the month of july or if you get paid weekly then you could save 75 dollars a week for a grand total of 300 dollars for the month of july now I printed when you, uh, you can buy these envelopes from Wonder Print Creations Etsy shop and it only costs you $2 and it comes with um, both of the envelopes and then you just print them out and put them together yourself. It's quite simple. But I printed out 
the hundred and fifty dollar challenge because when I do when Ju July does roll around, I am going to do the hundred and fifty dollars from each paycheck. So that'll be three hundred dollars for that envelope. And then with this one, just any extra money that I have, like any change that I get during the month of July, I'll be putting in here, just as extra money to go towards a goal. And that goal could be anything that you set for yourself that you you know you want to buy something. Um, if you want to pay off a bill, you're saving up for something, this money is for whatever you decide it's for. So I'm going to put this $5 into this envelope. And I actually want to go towards, like I was talking about in the budgeting video, I actually want to get, I want to work toward getting consumer debt free and like paying off my credit cards, so I'm going to use the money that I save in these envelopes to go towards paying off one of my credit cards. So that is the goal. So we get a hot girl summer ready. Like we already got $5 in ready to go. Like July, what you doing? What you got? All right, so we're going to put that away. All right, now that officially, officially brings us to the end of this cash stuffing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will try to put all of the um, information regarding the Hot Girl Summer Savings Challenge uh, in the description box as well. And also, I'll put my Fetch Rewards link in the description box as well because, again, Fetch Rewards is life. Like, it's actual real money that you can use in my desk, which I will post a picture of. Bam! Is proof of that. <laughs> so... Like I always say, all 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragons, solving our own problems, and making things happen for ourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.